the magic, mythology and metaphysical properties of iron pyrite. This week I'll be taking a look at the gorgeous and golden iron pyrite. It's technically not a crystal, though it often gets lumped in with crystals and crystal healing and modern magical practice. Rather it is an iron sulphide that forms into these rather amazingly vague cupoid shapes of various sizes. Iron pyrite has been known through the ages by many different names, such as brassel from its brassy tone, fairy gold and fool's gold. These last two names really do this wonderful mineral no favours, implying that it is a stone of the foolish, linked to the idea of trickery, deceit and dishonesty. Iron pyrite certainly has been used in the past by the unscrupulous to con the unwary. It was frequently passed off as gold to the naive, and used to salt mines so that investors would be fooled into thinking that the mine contained gold, when it didn't. Really, though, it's iron pyrite that gets the last laugh on this, because only a fool doesn't get how amazing and valuable this tr mineral truly is. Iron pyrite is a truly wonderful, valuable and magical treasure in its own right. It also does contain real gold in small amounts, and is often found near deposits of genuine gold. Despite it being fool's gold and therefore considered to be worthless by the greedy, jewellery made of iron pyrite was and still is deemed quite valuable and extremely collectible. Marcasite jewellery isn't in fact made from marcasite at all. It's made from iron pyrite because pyrite's easier to work with, more durable and decidedly less poisonous. The technique of working marcasite jewellery was developed in ancient Greece, but really came into its own during the Victorian and Art Nouveau eras, especially when the flashier phones, stones fell out of fashion. Today it has proved invaluable for its use in batteries and solar panels, which keep our technologies functioning in the modern world. Pyrite is an ideal ally for anyone who does not appreciate their own worth or that of others, who feels they do not deserve the good things in life for whatever reason. It supports those who lack confidence or have poor self-esteem, as it will help you embrace and be your true self. Iron Pyrite confidently knows its own value when others do not, and teaches us to value ourselves and each other for the beautiful and amazing souls that we are. This is why Iron Pyrite is such a stone of wisdom. It knows that it has much to share and offer with those open to listening and learning. Here, Pyrite challenges us to actively challenge what we thought we knew and any preconceptions that we may have to discover and rediscover things for ourselves. As a stone of great wisdom, it's used by students, as in both college students and students of the craft, to enhance their study skills and information retention. In modern magic, Pyrite is used as a more affordable alternative to gold for use in spells for wisdom, success and prosperity. It's often added to spells to enhance their success and ensure a positive outcome. Many witches like to keep a piece in a money jar, in their purse or in their till if they have a physical store to attract and draw wealth to them. It's used in modern feng shui exactly the same way. Pyrite reminds us that we reap what we sow and that in order to obtain, obtain true wealth or wisdom, we need to work at it. The Iron Pyrite is careful to remind us to share any wealth that we do gain with others, to be generous, charitable and compassionate. Here wealth refers not only to material wealth, but also the wealth of wisdom and spiritual wealth. More rich in a multitude of ways, and pyrite can help us to see and appreciate this. With its golden colour and vibrant sheen, iron pyrite has an energy much like that of the sun. It's happy, optimistic and generous. If you find yourself struggling with your energy levels, feeling down, lethargic or just stuck in any way, iron pyrite will bring some much needed and very positive energy into your life and your magical workings. It will also help you to keep going even when times are tough, as it imbues us with perseverance and steadfastness. This energy has a definite healing aspect to it, so iron pyrite is great to work with after an illness to help you get your energy levels back. Because it's an iron sulphide, it's reputed to be good for the circulation system and any kind of disorder or issue of the blood, which is also rich in iron. Pyrite is also reputed in crystal law to be good for the lungs, the brain, the bones, and to combat fatigue and anxiety. With its reflective sheen, iron pyrite has long been used as a mirror reflecting back not only our own image but also our own mental state back at ourselves. The indigenous Americans polished pyrite for use as a magical mirror for scrying or seeing communicating with the spirits of nature. Today it's still a popular choice for scrying mirrors. Its sheen makes iron pyrite a very protective mineral and that, def that sheen ref deflects and negative energies away from itself. Today many witches place it on their altars and elsewhere in their homes to protect and shield this space. It's become a popular choice for deflecting back hexes, noise from nuisance neighbours and ill wishes from jealous colleagues. The name pyrite derives from the Greek term pyrites lithos, meaning something like stone which strikes fire, in reference to the fact that when struck iron pyrite produces sparks which can be used to light fires. In ancient times people often carried iron pyrite with them as part of a fire starting kit, and they were even buried with these kits. Seeing as a warming fire could mean the difference between life and death in some places and circumstances, here we can see just how valuable an ally iron pyrite can actually be. 
Deities associated with Iron Pyre include those linked to healing, wisdom, the sun, fire or metalwork, such as the Celtic Bridget, goddess of healing and smithcraft, Svarog, the Slavic god of smithing and fire, Apollo, the Greek god of healing and sun, Ptah, the Egyptian god of crafts and wisdom, and Vulcan, the Roman god of fire and forge. In modern witchcraft and crystal work, Iron Pyre is ruled by the elements of fire, earth and metal and by the sun. It's the birthstone for Leo and the month of August and is associated with the seasons of summer and autumn when the sun is at its most golden. If you want to know more about Pyrite, especially its link with fairies, please check out my book Fairy Stones. There's an affiliate link to it in the description below. How do you work with Iron Pyrite? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.